And in the 12 o'clock position towards the top of the map from Team FXOEU, it is Monado. Monado going to be facing off against his opponent down in the 6 o'clock position. In the red, it is Rise. And I got to say, uh, Rise, I casted one of the most exciting games I've ever seen um, with Rise in it. He made a lot of Hydralisks, Kev, uh -huh. and it was on Crevasse, which is, as you know, my favorite map. Yes. So he made Hydralisks, which are like the worst unit you can make in Zerg versus Protoss. He played it on Crevasse, my favorite map, and then he hid a Nidus Worm where literally every single part of the Protoss's base and natural were visible by pylons, except for this one little pocket. It was up by the, like, the natural. And, yeah. Uh, I don't know if you like how familiar you are with the map, but of put course. a Nidus Cavern there, or a Nidus Worm, and just... Ben just won the game, and it was awesome. I was about so to cool. say, Crevasse is not a small map, and uh, I was going to ask how he got those Hydralisks there, but I guess a Nidus Worm is one way to <laughs> yeah. do it. Really, I mean, it was it was, it was cool, because Hydras never work. That is, that's what I learned from my first thousand games in StarCraft. Hydras never work. Hydras with layer upgrade speed, though. In the future. Well, looking forward to it. Minato opening uh, gas first in a pool. It's been a while since we've actually just seen that. There's a lot of yeah. everyone goes 15 hatch or uh, 15 pool into a later hatch afterwards and then extractor afterwards. But very rarely do you see any more the gas before pool off of one base. Well, we've already seen that Minato is a player who is, I mean, he's he's comfortable in working with small economies. Like that last game, he was on two bases forever. And then even when he had a huge lead, he just chilled on three for a long time. Mm -hmm. It was like, number four, I don't feel like it. And finally took it because, well, I don't know why. I don't know why he took it. He didn't need to. We see what he does. Well, 15 hatch into 16 pool for Rise, so things are looking a little more normal on his side of the map. And uh, we'll see what he wants to do here. Or I'm really curious as to what Monado's plan is going to be. So he's doing the, you know, this is what we used to see out of Zerg players. Get 100 gas, pull off of gas, save up for your hatchery, grab that real quick. Then come back and think about your game plan. Defensive Banelings, uh, possibly Roach Warren, go attack, attack, attack. Yeah. But more and more often, players are getting that later gas and then just never stopping to mine gas. They go straight for that quick layer tech and... and um, then we either see Roach and Fester or Spire. This is a little scary, though, for Rise, because like the meta only recently shifted. It hasn't been this way for so long that players are like, you're not in this. Uh, the metas are comfortable working with each other, but as soon as you pull something out of like the you know first few pages of the meta game book, somebody could be like, whoa, I haven't see, I haven't dealt with that with this yet. And Rise has certainly seen this build a few times, but. It's definitely probably uh, it's it, well it's it's going to be a little more awkward than if you were playing against you know standard meta right now. It could work out you know of course in his favor because you know the greedy safe meta sure is obviously stronger. But um, I will be interested to see if Rise gets a little caught off guard by this. He's got a total of uh, I should say Minato's got a total of eight lings out on the map and uh, he's sending down his final four here. But Rise already has a spine crawler on the way. A few more links of his own. Of course, much later Zergling speed. It's considerably later, as a matter of fact, about 90 seconds behind. Mm -hmm. That is going to give Minato the potential to sneak in there, try and do some economic damage, pick off a couple of drones, things like that. Yeah, but the current, uh, you know, as we were saying, um, Rise. Okay, he's doing a great job here knowing, you know, realizing the build from Minato and saying, okay, these are the steps I need to take so that I don't take damage. Because that's why everybody does what Rise is doing nowadays. Nobody uses Minato's strategy because, look, no <laughs> damage happens done. and Rise is ahead. Yeah, I mean, Rice has the uh, the earlier expansion. Even though he's going to have the later gas, he's got uh, you know the better queen count. So, I mean, just everything's really playing in his favor at the moment. That could still certainly turn around, though. Minato is going to keep poking in, and he's prevented a lot of drones from being able to sneak over here uh, into the natural. But honestly, I mean, that spine crawler is in a fine enough position that it's going to be able to watch everything. Yeah. And this is, I mean, it's very, it's meticulous play. You can't make a mistake, um, but Rise hasn't. And so he has taken no damage. Um, if we take a look at where these guys are at right now, Rise with 31 workers, uh, Minato with uh, just um, th 30, and well, let's jump it back and forth. But either way, uh, Rise is actually uh, up a queen as well. So that's really, really nice for me. So that's kind of, I would say, the advantage that he's eked out through all of this, in fact. 
has the additional queen, actually chasing down his opponent's forces with his superior count of uh, Zerglings. And are those the only Zerglings that are on the map? Yes, they are, 8 to 12, but falling back now to the queens and the spine crawler is going to prevent too much damage from being done. Rise uh, has his bailing nest about halfway complete, but we can see going up to, oh, nice scout, by the way. He's going to pick up on the exact time of layer and the second gas coming down. That could not have been better for Rise. Well yeah, done. That was really, really nice. And he gets a lot of information. What's his reaction here? Go for uh, Lair himself. Doesn't want to be too far back. He had already gone for the additional nice. second, third, and fourth gas. Yeah. Those, I mean, that was very convenient timing. So as he took the gases, he wanted to make sure it was safe to tech up to that Lair. Sees that it is. Now he's going to be doing that. And um, as soon as we... I mean, it'll complete. We'll see which tech structure he's going for. If he's going to, you know, out for the Infestors or out for the Spire. And when he drops it, we might see him move for the third here because Minato is a little behind. So, I mean, he could even go for it faster, but... You know, he's got Minato needs to be making drones right now. Nice and job. knows that. My, nice job by Minato to actually pick off the active creep tumor. Then he swings in, uh, tries to pick off a drone, can't quite Ooh, get inside. it, but he gets a perfect scout. Yeah. And he'll see, well, nothing, unfortunately, but um, he does manage to, you know, know that Lair's on the way. And he drops a Roach Warren at home. Rise? What do you think, Kev? I mean, it's not the best map for Mutas, but they're a fast unit, and it's a big map. That is certainly true, but uh, he's already gone up to three base now, and the Spire's dropping down, so we're going to see those Mutas in just a bit. Now, this Muta timing is a little bit weird for Rise, because Minato, again, he's fine with being on lower economy. He's only on two bases. Yeah. He's already thrown down the Infestation Pit, the Roach Warren. He's going to have upgrades for those very quickly. By the time that those, uh, those actually hit, the Mutalisks, I'm saying, the uh, Infestors are going to be done out mm. tons of energy. Rise is playing a little much as if he were playing with the current standard meta. Um, with, like, th this is what you do, you know, uh, when both players are playing this, how things work right now um, with this Whoa. third base. But in this situation, Minato, you know, he's got the Roaches on the field. This is meant to deny the third, and I don't think much is going to happen here except Minato killing Rise's units. Yeah, three Banelings have already fallen uh, for Rise, and he's not able to get anything done with the rest of these. And even just suiciding them into the hatchery is not going to do anything. He actually gets away with a couple. Oh, because there's an attack inside of the main at the same time. Let's see if uh, he does pick off a queen, but he didn't actually kill any workers. In fact, no workers have been killed this entire game. Yeah, and with the extra queen, that's not going to hamper the production, luckily, for Minato, who's also got Pathogen Glands about to wrap up here in a second. Khalil Reconstitution. He could go, for, actually, for a very large timing as Rise has lost a lot of Zerglings and killed no economy. Oh, Rise is ducking back into the main one more time, just going to suicide himself and try and pick off as many workers as he can. Oh, and we will really get some. Yeah, we will start to see a few workers go down. It looks like a total of four or five have been killed. I think, let's see here, six is the final count. Also notably, uh, Minato hasn't taken out the back rocks, has he? No, and a Bailing actually exploded here inside of the natural, so yet more workers went down, and Minato has actually taken a lot of damage from this. Yeah, he's down to 70 supply to about 90 for Rise, those 15 workers, and suddenly things paying off quite well for him. Now, the mutants are on the field, and this makes that third base kind of scary because Minato can't jump back and forth. Uh, he's starting to work on the rocks right now. We'll see if he can get them in time. And Minato, he had finished that infestation pit so long ago, but didn't actually put up any infestors. His first two are popping out now, but they're still 15 seconds away. Oh, that queen is not long for this world. Going to get surrounded. Oh, the Infestors are on the field and oh, get a full growth on the Mutalisks. We'll see if they can chain it out. No, Zergly's getting a nice surround on the Infestors. A lot of them uh, taking damage. One of them does go down. The Mutas coming forward now, and there are no fungal growths left. But two more digits pop up, and I'm sorry, I was totally incorrect. There were a couple of that were already done, uh, obviously, and the next two do join that, so the Mutas are going after this hatchery off to the right-hand side, and if he actually draws the Infestors far enough away, then he can start to duck back into the natural here momentarily. Oh, but he loses so... Oh, all of those get caught. A Chain Fungal actually hits at the back, too, but it doesn't quite kill the Mutas, just down to 13 hit points now. This Queen actually sitting above has already racked up four kills, well, five kills. There's the rest of the Mutas. They're all dead. That was very important for... Uh, the, uh, excuse me, for Monado that he killed off all those Mutas because if those Mutas got away, you know, and all those Infestors died, they would have been devastating. Roach is coming into the third base right now, killing off quite essential elements actually here for Rise. He needs this gas uh, with his tech to route. Wow, Rise is actually in a really bad spot now. This is a complete turnaround from where it was just a few minutes ago where Rise had pretty good control of the map. He had his mutas popping out. Uh, he was able to do some significant economic damage with Zerglings and Banelings. And now, what can he do? 
Uh, Kevin, he's taken a lot of damage, and there's not... You know, Muta's off for map control. That's like... It's 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 worse to lose your Mutas than it is to lose your Infestors, especially if you get to use all the energy on your Infestors before they die. Um, I mean, yeah, they're a great long-term unit, but now we're seeing uh, Rise. Yeah, I mean, the, he just really can't stand up to this. His yeah. plus one weapons is about to finish, but then plus two is now going to finish uh, in just a second for Monado, but he was able to engage almost the entire time with an upgrade advantage, and that made his unit so much stronger there. He's just going to shoot down the Infestation Pit. His units are all clumped up, so a Fungal Growth is actually going to be pretty good here for Ryze, but uh, even so, that by itself I don't think is going to do it. And a lot of this also goes back to the, so many of those links that were just thrown away by Ryze. He had no links to counteract the Roaches. He was trying to tech to Roaches and Infestors at the... Oh my goodness. Yeah, he was trying to tech to Roach Infestor. This was such a terrible time for Ryze to lose those Mutas because he had to use them to prevent Monado from being able to move out while he switched his tech route. Oh. And now he's lost all of his tech. I mean, he does have the uh, the Spire still complete, but his Roachhorn, his Infestation Pit, the Bailing Nest, those were all killed. And now Monado still has an upgrade advantage. And he's still third. continuing to reinforce. Look at the stream of yellow units just continue to move across the map. Now adding Infestors. All right, well, Rise is looking in a really, really rough spot here. Um, yeah, he had to make Zerglings, and Zerglings, <laughs> unfortunately, aren't going to do anything to this army. Yeah, especially with the plus two on these roaches. I mean, they're just uh, really a force to get dead with. And Fest is going to try to drop down a little bit of a defense here. Yeah, but I mean, look how long these uh, roaches are staying alive. And now the reinforcements oh, wow. have made their way in. Fungal actually hits most of the Zerglings. They're all dead. The roach is streaming through 40 supply advantage and increasing for Minato. And it looks like he is going to bring this to a 2 0 for FXOEU. There, there it is. GG. All right, so FXO goes up 2-0. Complexity a little bit on the back foot now. This Minato guy showing that he is a force to be reckoned with. He really is. I was I was um, taking a look earlier, man, because, you know, I was like, Minato, mm, they haven't heard too much about him. He doesn't even have a Team Liquid page. He deserves one after this showing. Minato getting things off to start 2-0 uh, for FXOEU. All right, well, the third player for Complexity is going to move in now. Player who used to be on their Complexity Academy, it's going to be Sasquatch, guy who was out at IPL5. All right, well, we'll see what he can manage to do. It is uh, 0-2, as we were saying, guys. We're going to cut to a quick commercial break. We'll be right back with Monado versus Sasquatch.